Hey everyone, Tomas here, and welcome to another Aether Gazer video. So a lot of you have asked about the tier list for Aether Gazer. So here we are. I've done some digging finally, and we are going to be look at the CN released tier list. Uh, they've done a lot of research, a lot of testing. They have a tier list, which I'll have below with the images in the comments and description, looking at what is the best and who you should reroll for in this game. Now, if you haven't done so already, check out my reroll guide. And currently I'm already streaming with the JP account, okay? But of course, we will be looking at the uh, global account when it goes live in just a couple of uh, minutes now my jp account is absolutely cracked i have got the tier zero i've got the tier zero tsukiyumi as well as the s poseidon so um how do we fare with this type of team so let's take a look at the tier list breakdown so this is the initial uh released uh, open beta test of the CN server. We're looking at the tier zero in S Tsukiyomi and tier zero in S Poseidon. So those are the best, best unit. This character, the A rank Poseidon, you will get free to Omega level, which is the highest, highest level you can get from dupes. Okay, this is absolutely bonkers the unit i'll show you some footage later but looking at the tier list the initial tier list tier list zero the rank zero is very at the top to kiyomi which i have right here she is the limited banner okay she is the limited rate up banner um currently because japan has gone through some maintenance changes as well as bug fixes we got 20 pulls we got 20 pulls to do, do on the rate up banner and i luck sex so hard I, I did get her <laughs> in 20 pulls um but in the standard pulls of course you will not be able to get s rank tsukiyomi so if you're re-rolling again if you check my video you'll see who you are going to get uh from the s uh, banner which is most likely the s poseidon but why is this unit tier zero so their breakdown from the scene side is this is basically the ceiling of dps in this game at release she is just so damn strong she is absolutely insane and because i have those units i'm going to show you some in-game play footage all right uh we can do a deeper dive into the character breakdown but uh in this video i just want to do the tier list so everyone will be going for tier zero to kill me now in tier 0 0.5 you can already see why this is slightly different uh from this okay this is because they're technically the same guide group but after the initial release testing they've made some adjustments so this isn't the updated tier list so the only tier zero on this is s uh Tsukiyomi, and then the tier 0 0.5 is the ink rank as well as the s rank siding so for the a rank one this purple one again like i've said you get a free omega level which is the highest level because the game will give you tubes she's actually able to deal okay amounts of damage just because of how strong she is going to be but she is a support she's going to be healing as well now as Tsukiyumi, this okay if you cannot or cannot uh, be bothered to reroll for the tier zero as Tsukiyumi, s poseidon is the one to go for this is the strongest aoe character bar none and the most broken crowd control character there is just no way around it she is so damn strong now this unit is not available uh, but we can take a look at the Ashura and whatnot but i think all in all the tier list so far just looking at the quick breakdown i don't think everyone will even look past the two tier zeros shown here right so let's do a quick gameplay footage we are in the very early parts of the game and we can already see how how broken this team is now if you didn't know you go into the game with three units okay i've obviously the two tier zero as well as the a rank poseidon who's i'm controlling as the range healer because i'm not that good of an rpg player but just look at poseidon go everyone's frozen she is just using aoe and everything's dead okay everything is dead so i just move forward i press the forward button and let my dps players do all the work this is perfect for boomers like me with slow finger oh my god look at this freeze how is this balanced how is this balanced and meanwhile s Tsukiyumi is just going ham cleaning up everything in the back and that's it we move forward once again uh i did a lot of work there as you can tell i didn't even cast a single skill and we are already at the boss fight okay we're already at the boss fight and you get to see how fast the boss dies now of course if you have really really good reflexes or if you're really quick and used to arpgs you can control okay you can control the characters um and uh let them do the work but for me you know i just look at i just want to look at my wife who's fine for me that's how uh, simple it is and um yeah that's pretty much it the damage output from these two units are going to carry you through the entire 
game if you manage to reroll, if you manage to pull them. So, back to the tier list. <laughs> back to the tier list. Now, if you are not looking for this type of easy experience and you want to look at some of the other husbandos, well, the tier list got you covered as well. There's um, this unit, 0 0.5, and uh, the Asura is also 0 0.5. Oh, one thing to note, one thing to note, if you're looking to pull for S to Gumi, there is a tier 1 unit, this one, uh, I believe it's called Koto or something. She is one of the best supports for S2 Kiyomi currently. So if you want to pull for S2 Kiyomi in the 40 reroll, you can aim for her if you don't want for S Poseidon. But personally for me, I'll pull for S2 Kiyomi, S Poseidon, and just have a super easy time playing this game. <laughs> okay, that is the plan. That is the plan. So again, going over the big overview. All the S ranks are really, really good. Some are obviously better, the tier zeros, um, and then the tier ones. You can see they're all here. Some are slightly better. I would say Asura is more like a tier 0 0.5, as you can see from the updated. But all of these images I will post on my YouTube. You'll be able to see on the comments as well as pinned in the description. Okay, so this you can see, you can see as well. Now, Finally, if we want to take a look at Future Proof, so this is the June version of the tier list, version 4.5. One thing to note, okay, one thing to note is that um, uh, for the release of the game, the game came out, I think, end of April or something like that for CN. So this is two months down the line. And guess who's still at the top? S. Tsukiyomi, tier zero, still at the very top. I think even right now, after one year in version later or something, S2 Humility is still tier 1. Okay, she is still tier 1. Now, looking down, I know we have another unit that's coming up in the next banner, which is Osiris. This is S Osiris. Um, she's tier 0 0.5. So if you were to reroll for S2 Kimiomi, and you don't even have to reroll that hard because you are guaranteed S2 Kimiomi in the hard pity if you play, you basically set for the game. You basically set. And we still have, this is the free Poseidon. This is not the S rank Poseidon. We have the free Poseidon in the um, <laughs> 0 0.5. But yes, everything else, you can see tier 1, tier 1, tier 1. The S rank Poseidon got moved down to tier 1 two months later down the line. But at its current stage, personally, what I'm going for is tier 0 S2 heal me, tier 0 0.5 S Poseidon, the insane ice control, and then the free Omega level A rank Poseidon. Okay. That was a lot, but uh, hopefully, okay, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'm going to be very sad because... I will probably be playing on the global server and I don't think I will be as lucky and get this godly start on the global server. But um, <laughs> hopefully your bros are as good as mine on the JP server and best of luck if you're rerolling and it's Tomias here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye now.